So today we're going to have a look at this little off-roader. It's the Jeep Compass and see how it stacks up with our baby drive testing. <laughs> Storage in the front of the Compass is pretty average really. There's two cup holders in the central console. They will hold a large refillable water bottle or a disposable or reusable coffee cup. There is a tiny well in front of the gear lever. It's the only place I could find to put my phone and that is where the USB socket is too. The glove box is really small. I couldn't get an iPad in there, just my wallet. And underneath this seat here though is a fantastic hidden storage where I could get the iPad. And I suppose you could put anything in there when you're going to the beach or something and hide it out of the way. The door bins, they're quite small as well. I could get a large refillable water bottle in there, but only by bending the plastic of the door, and my wallet would fit in there too. But anything smaller, like a 600ml, just rattles around. There's no glasses case either, so there's just nowhere really to put things like that in the compass. The central console storage box is very small as well. The door bins in the back are much smaller than in the front, so I could get a 600ml in there, but not much else, and it does rattle around. There's mat pockets in the back of both front seats. I could get an iPad in there, but it doesn't conceal it. Now the cup holders in the back here, you have to bring this backrest down and they will hold a disposable or reusable coffee cup, but not much else. But when you bring this down, you actually see all the way through into the boot. Let's see what we can fit in the boot of the Jeep Compass. Empty, it will fit 11 shopping bags. With the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller, it will fit two shopping bags. With the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller, it will fit two shopping bags. With the Mountain Buggy Nano Basic Stroller, it will fit nine shopping bags. Or a medium-sized dog. In the back of the Jeep Compass, there's Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides, they're between the seat back and base, and I did find them hard to connect to. In the boot, there's three top tethers across the back of the seat rests. They're really clearly labelled and easy to connect to. I was only able to install two child seats in the back here. There just wasn't enough space for three, but two fit in here nicely. Apart from the Isofix, they were simple to connect. Driving the Jeep Compass is not too bad. It's a nice little car. The ride is a little bit hard and bouncy at times, and the engine noise does have a bit of a low rumble most of the journey. The most annoying thing is the footwell. By your left leg, there's a bulge in the central console and it just means that you can't really place your left foot down and that bulge sticks into your calf. So the media screen in the compass can be turned on and off with this button here, which is a really nice feature. The system itself, it is very stylized, but I don't find it easy to use. When you put it in reverse, the reversing camera image is quite pixelated and this kind of runway guide I didn't find very useful. The sensors appear in the digital display in front of the steering wheel, however you can turn them on and off with this button here and they will stay off if you put them off. Now there is a mute button on the central console here and I was hoping that that was going to be for the sensors or for anything that you had going on but it's actually just for the um, sound from the radio or the stereo so you can just press that to mute it. The auto engine cutout button situated down here is really good because if you turn it so that it's turned off then it stays like that for every journey until you turn it back on again which is a nice baby drive feature. If you're dead set on getting a Jeep and it's a little off-roader that you want the Compass isn't that bad. It will only fit two child seats and the storage inside the cabin isn't that great either but it's not a bad little car it drives well and it looks good read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au